everybody, one of the mere Sunday, December 13th. We're progressing on here. I didn't really intend to actually showcase this, but I figured I would just in case. And that's pretty much all this will be as a showcase. We're going to read what's on the box, cover the selling points, and more importantly, in my opinion, let you see this firsthand through a camera. I will say this, this was not on my list of potential uh, motherboards. I'd kind of... It was the white... White's a tough one. You've got the Crate Gaming stuff from MSI. Uh, and then I found the uh, Asus Z170 Deluxe. I really liked that. The reviews on that thing were horrible. As <laughs> somebody doing this for the first time, I didn't want to take a chance on that. It wasn't just a couple angry people. It was consensus bad. Uh, they rushed the board out. So there's some serious issues. Sometimes our made stuff doesn't work, etc. Whereas this had fantastic reviews. And so... Where I kind of came across this one, uh, I kind of, uh, you have to go by aesthetics, right, a little bit, and so that's kind of what I had done initially, and then of course when the aesthetics aren't backed up with good reviews, or just like it's a freak thing, or maybe the person doesn't know what they're doing like me, or they just hate the brand and they're fanboying with a negative review, it was, it was too clear to uh, kind of ignore the warning signs there, so I'll say this. If everything on this board that is red was blue, it would be amazing, <laughs> but it's not. So uh, I haven't ruled out painting it. I might take a look and see if maybe we can get something laid over it with vinyl. I don't know. I might leave it as is. But uh, nonetheless, this is the Gigabyte G1 Z170X Gaming 7 motherboard. Despite all the negative stuff I just said, this has fantastic reviews, <laughs> unlike the uh, Asus Z170s I was looking at. Similarly... It was an amazing price. I got a really good deal on it. I think, uh, I honestly don't remember. I don't like keeping track of money. But it was, I believe, 50 to $70 less than retail. So not too shabby there. Plus, compared to the Deluxe, the price was so low. That's kind of how I, in part, justified going for the, you know, uh, Rocket Isk FX keyboard there. So it has its pros and cons. All that aside, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So... Heroes of the Storm, never played it, don't know if I will, that is not why we got this, some people might, that could be a huge selling point for them, but uh, for me, not that big of a deal. So, what we want to showcase here, uh, it supports the 6th gen Intel Core processors, USB 3.0, on-off charge technology, dual BIOS design, and solid capacitor design. So, selling points for me, which apparently aren't featured on the box, I think it'll look pretty cool. Uh, the ambient LED is kind of a nice touch, the backing plate. My nephew's computer had a gigabyte motherboard. I actually did like some of the software that was kind of included with it. So uh, we'll see how this one stacks up. I think his was an X99. That said, it is in an anti-static bag. That's probably a good thing. They're, they have that funky tint to them that's hard to describe unless you're familiar with this stuff. So it kind of takes away from the color. But again, pretty much everywhere you see that kind of like metallic red, if that could just be blue, it'd be great. If the you know, like card slots on the board it could be blue uh, and the lever's blue, it would be fantastic. We will set that to the side here. And we'll pull this out. That's kind of just a separate tray from the motherboard. And then there's all this stuff here in the bottom. So, uh, first thing first, we have SLI cables. Nice that they send those out if we decide to stack our uh, GTX 970 or upgrade in the future, etc. We can make use of that. Uh, let's see here. We've got two sets of SATA cables, I believe. Again, this stuff a little over my head until I actually have uh, connected it and figured out exactly what it does. We've got the driver disc, I assume, but it's one of those things you probably just want to download the latest uh, from the website. Let's go ahead and get kind of the non-significant stuff out. Uh, Heroes of the Storm, that's not relevant. Uh, hey, I guess if you're into it, you get a door knocker out of it. Uh, enter and do not disturb. Again, Heroes of the Storm is a theme. Obviously, if you're looking for a motherboard, you like this one, and you're also a fan of the game... It would be a big deal, right? So it's kind of something to enjoy, sort of a nice little selling point. Uh, let's see here. They want our review. I would tell them that I really like the looks of this, but I wish that it was blue. This is our, uh, what's the user's manual, is what they're calling it. And no color pictures, black and white. Hopefully it's good because we need that in our life. Uh, what is that? We have a little uh, case badge, I suppose. I always wonder why they don't give you like more of like not necessarily the branded you know partnership promotion stuff but like 
Gigabyte G1 Gaming. It seems like, you know, you would get like, hey, maybe they want to put it on both sides of the case, up front, sides, etc. Uh, when you get car parts, you always, I mean, I guess two sides of the car for contingency cash, right? So you have two stickers. But then they don't they don't stop there. They go overboard. They want everyone to know uh, what is inside your car. Why? Because it's free advertising. And that works. Now, this is something that I really like because it makes it sound so simple. I'm actually going to cover this for you. Just mainly if you're a first-time builder like myself. But step one, install CPU and CPU cooler, right? Step two, install memory even have nice little pictures for people like myself step three prepare the case and install the motherboard right we're, we're doing good here makes sense step four install an expansion card like our graphics card flip it around to the back side we're almost done step five install power supply step six install hard drive and optical drives they're kind of doubling up on us there step seven connect cables to the internal connectors step eight Connect peripherals to the computer, such as keyboard, mouse, monitor, etc. I am quite skilled in that one. I think we've got it under control. Even a graphic there for us. And uh, lastly, what is that? I guess that's just more of the uh, case connection. So, according to this little thing, I think we've got this building a computer in a bag. I think it'll be a little bit more complicated than that, some of the finite details. But, it is what it is. So, right here, what do we have? I don't even know, are those just caps, I guess? Uh, that is all I can figure, is they look like caps to me, so I could be wrong. If you know what they are, feel free to comment, tell people if it's something important. Uh, right here, this is just kind of like their little quick connector type thing, and I believe it's just going to let the wires pass through. Yeah, they call it the G connector. I think ASUS is like the quick connector, the Q connector, so pretty much the same concept. You just pass the wires through, it keeps them kind of bundled together, and it's kind of a convenience item. Now, right here, some of the black and white boards have horrible IO shields, so uh, that's interesting. This one doesn't look too bad, plus, if you did not know, if you think, whoa, 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 there should not be wires there, what are you getting into? That's actually going to be for the LED backlight, which, again, my nephew's computer has this on his motherboard too, and it's actually nice because you can see. So, uh, usually, you know, you got the computer kind of on display, but the back is usually against the wall, right? Under a desk somewhere, wherever it might be. A cubicle, who knows what you're doing. It's such a pain. So many times when I go back there, installing stuff or, you know, switching out peripherals, something along those lines, having to use a USB in the back, I wind up having to use my cell phone as a light. <laughs> you know and then crawl around and try to see where you want to put it this makes it nice it's classy and uh, it might actually look decent in our case so uh, we've got that to look forward to the box we're going to keep because all the videos i watched in attempts to teach myself to build a computer people say that's a great work spot and you're not going to have the static conductivity so I'll stick with that, and uh, if they're wrong, we'll, I guess, go rage in the comment section. So there's that. Uh, again, the manual. Those are our big deals. It does have the uh, two cables, the G connector, as they call it. I'm okay with that name. And the SLI bridge, if we're so inclined. Now, the main thing, though, that you ought to take from this, they've really not done anything. I can't believe the box doesn't sell this better, but uh, anyway, does it really not? Okay, it's on the bottom, isn't it? Is that what we did wrong? It was stupid. I was going to say, this is just retarded. Because they should really promote this thing better. So, there we go. Why did I just now realize this? Alright, so. <laughs> this is good because now then you can just look at it when we're done. Alright, one of the big things for me is since I was going Skylake, kind of taking this forward step not going back and being content there which is probably advisable for someone in my position uh the type c usb that's going to be a big deal when i eventually do replace my ancient cell phone i'm going to be stepping up something that has type c so it'll be good to have something on board eventually the price for the carded uh, expansions will drop down we'll be good there that's kind of a sample of the io shield the z170 gaming specs uh, CPU support against 6th gen Intel Core, CPU socket LGA1151, chipset will be the Intel Z170, uh, graphics interface 1 PCE 3.0 x16, blah blah blah, again some of that over my head, so check the website, look at the screen, whatever you need to do, uh, there's HDMI and DisplayPort, 2 channel DDR4 is supported memory dim, 
uh, four DDR4 expansion slots. We've got three PCIe 3.0. Uh, SATA connectors, 3 SATA Express, 8 SATA 3, uh, 2 M2, which I might look into that in the future. Uh, SATA RAID, you've got RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10, again, a bit above my scope of understanding. USB, hopefully we don't need to know that. Big thing here, though, and I think something everyone can relate to at least a little bit, 2 USB 3.1. Uh, very cool there, 1 USB Type-C. Uh, plus 9 USB 3.0 for USB 2.0 audio is creative sound core 3d I've read good things about it uh, our LAN is going to be the dual GBE LAN plus killer plus Intel form factor ATX so uh, that's that's pretty much that there's a little snippet on the creative sound core th that is 3d right quad core audio XBX Pro Studio audio suite Hopefully that'll be fun to play around with and functional in the future. Amp up audio technology with high-end components, like high-end component, components design. Audio components design. Hmm, I think I would have not made that plural, but whatever. Right here, that trace path you see, that's going to be our LED trace path. Again, I believe there's, what, one, two, three, four, seven preset colors, so something we can work with there. Uh, USB... DAC up <laughs> again. I don't know DAC whatever uh, that is above and beyond me. Long life Dura Black solid capacitors, dual PCI Gen 3x4 M2, uh, built-in advanced performance tuning, uh, tuning, and lastly uh, we have got the exclusive ultra durable PCIe metal shielding. So that'll be nice, particularly if you install a heavy card. So. Uh, anything else here? Well, that's a good look at the motherboard, although it's hard to showcase it, but you get a feel for the aesthetics there, and now let's take a look at them in real life. Once again, my apologies if I can't explain this up to what you need. Most people probably know this. If you're watching this and you don't know it, you're in my position, and what I can offer you is the packaging and the aesthetics of the board itself. So I guess we should check. There goes the knife. <laughs> and, uh... All right, so there is, it's a good thing we didn't cut into this because it's taped on the back side, right? So we'll go ahead and pop that open. See if we can grab that just by the shield. All right, here we go. So, there we have it, kind of out of the packaging. It looks pretty good. Again, I don't like the color gold and I'm not a huge fan of red. Uh, so again, if you took everything that is red on this board and replaced it with blue of a similar hue, uh, I would be ecstatic about this thing. As is, I'm not sure how much of this is actually going to show up, so it's not too big of a deal. In terms of the technical stuff, me, me walking you through all this, I, I, I'm not going to waste your time. We might be able to pull it off, but we might not. And I would rather just not run the risk of looking like more of an idiot, so... Uh, take from it what you will, <laughs> we won't go from there, so, uh, it's not a shabby looking board really, especially now if you were going for like a white and red build, this would be killer. Uh, again, personally, I kind of had my heart set on blue, <laughs> and, uh, blue and white, and apparently no one seems to think that's a great idea, so, uh, is what it is. Now, I think I could actually recolor this if I wanted to, but I don't know if it's worth the time. In part, I'm not sure how much of it will actually show up. So, uh, coming around this direction, we can hold the board by the sides only. Gives you a feel for the back I.O. Again, keep in mind, uh, the shield will be there to kind of cover up our blank space. Plus, it will be an LED backlight. So, uh, there we are. There's kind of our fancy audio connectors, gold-plated. It's usually a sign of quality. That right there in the bottom, kind of coming up, that is the Type-C. Uh, if you're planning on picking up a new phone anytime in the future, uh, it's probably going to have that type of connector. It's universal, uh, unlike traditional USBs, where if you try to plug it in, you'll have to flip it because it wasn't oriented correctly. And then you go try to plug it in another slot, and that USB is flipped, and you always have to swap them you know, upside and downside, etc., that's kind of like a lightning connector, it just goes in one way, and it doesn't care, so that's sort of the perk there, but uh, that is about it. Again, note the PS2, and we have our DisplayPort stuff as well, so what we're going to do 
is that is about all we can do <laughs> i can i'm kind of the type i have to rely on the box to sort of tell you what you need to know and so that's what we will go with but the main thing here is just getting a look at it in person through a camera might help people out and uh, that'll be probably the biggest selling point there so uh, once again i covered at the start of the video don't quite exactly uh, be able to relay and convey information about this board as well as many other people but uh, i had to buy this blindly i couldn't find anybody showcasing it so there you go you can at least see it and hopefully if you know the specs it's not a big deal if you're in my position i wound up with this because it was a pretty nice looking board it had what i needed and the price was fantastic so uh, again experience with gigabyte is based solely on the experience my nephew has had with his computer and uh, it has performed quite well so uh, there's fan headers usb headers debug leds reset switches all that stuff i'm familiar with some of it here on the board but once again it's probably easier if you just kind of check the manufacturer's website and take it from there so main thing here you can see it and that's the big deal so uh we'll bring the camera down and kind of scan over it one last time hopefully this helps you out that's kind of the deal here again i am a first time builder that's why i don't quite be able to process all of this information for you uh with any sort of you know experience or you know uh, thorough understanding if you will but uh i'm in this kind of for the fun i think it'll be something neat to do and uh, hopefully we get something functional that will last us for a long time and again if you're kind of in the position i'm in you're probably kind of in the same position with not quite the uh expertise you would like but you do understand aesthetics and that's what we kind of want to spend some time on here just let you get a good look at it pretty decent lighting here i would say and it sort of brings out pretty much uh, verbatim what you see in the board so that said i'll quit rambling hopefully this does help you out again pretty impressive in person and uh, my only concern obviously i would prefer everything red blue but as i was researching by the time you get a giant cooler on here and it's hung up in the chassis i don't know how much of the red we'll actually see so we'll kind of monitor that and if it's objectionable we might take it out and try to you know just kind of throw down some new graphics or paint it but uh, otherwise we'll probably leave it as is or maybe we'll just go with red white and blue and yeah, make it captain america computer or something so that said again hope this helps you out and i will catch you back here for more as we check out the components and attempt to uh, piece together our first computer build so stay tuned